On April 30th, 2022, Matthias Rimmel was climbing in the wet snow and shivering cold, 18,200 feet high on North America's tallest peak, Denali. It was still early in the year for the North American climbing season, which meant that Matthias was the first registered mountaineer to kick off the season and the only person currently on the peak. All seemed to be going well, as Matthias had regular check-ins with a friend stationed at base camp, but then a day went by with no contact, followed by more days, and then nothing. This is the story of Matthias Rimmel. Mount Denali, located in Alaska, is North America's tallest peak, standing at 20,310 feet or 6,190 meters. It is the centerpiece of the beautiful Denali National Park and Reserve. The mountain is not known for being a technical challenge to climb, nor is it notoriously dangerous compared to other peaks like K2, but due to its remote location, the wind and weather can defeat even the most seasoned veterans. This has led to many deaths and accidents throughout the years, and comprises about 11% of all mountaineering deaths in the United States. However, the real draw of the mountain is not its beauty, but the fact that it is a part of the Seven Summits. Many climbers dream of conquering the Seven Summits, otherwise known as the highest mountains on each of the seven traditional continents. Reaching just one of these peaks is an accomplishment, but all seven? Well, now that's a significant goal for any respected mountaineer to chase. Matthias Rimmel was born to be a climber. He always had a love for the mountains and nature from a young age. He originally studied to become a carpenter after graduating high school, but after completing his military service, Matthias chased after his real dream. In 2015, he would shift careers and fully dedicate his life to the mountains. Matthias would go on to become a professional mountain guide, a legacy that has been in his family for four generations. But he did not stop there. With an appreciation for all outdoor mountaineering activities, Matthias would also become a ski instructor, a rock and ice climbing tutor, and even teaching canyoneering. Although his specialty was long, technical, difficult climb tours, within a given year, Matthias would average about 700,000 meters of altitude in the winter, 200,000 meters of altitude in the summer, and well over 130 overnight stays in mountain huts or bivouacs per year mountaineering was his life. His guided services would allow him to travel the globe and create experiences that have only fueled his passion for the mountains even more. At age 35, Matthias decided that he would take on his hardest challenge to date, conquering the seven summits. This would not be an easy task, nor did he take it lightly. The dangers and risks were completely understood and accepted. It is an aspect that all mountaineers must come to terms with before they venture out into the tall peaks calling their names. Matthias kicked off 2022 by traveling to Tanzania to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa's tallest peak, which stands at 5,895 meters or 19,341 feet. The mountain is considered an easy peak with a mortality rate of only 13 out of 100,000 attempts. However, due to its elevation, one must be acclimatized to the altitude before attempting the climb or risk factors like high altitude sickness. Matthias knew this and given his experience, felt up to the challenge of making the journey. He completed the climb quickly and without any issues. By the time he returned back to base camp, the next trip was already being planned in his mind. In April of 2022, only a few months after reaching the summit of Kilimanjaro, Matthias would travel to South Central Alaska to Denali. The tallest North American peaks climbing season mostly occurs during the months of May through the middle of July. This is because the temperatures on Denali can be brutally cold. To give you some perspective, when Matthias arrived at the mountain, the daytime highs were around negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 31 degrees Celsius. Since Matthias had recently climbed other high altitude peaks, he felt free from the need to acclimatize for Denali. He planned to climb the peak alpine style, which meant traveling fast with little gear. He would carry enough food and supplies to last 10 days on the mountain, although his goal was to reach the summit in only five 
This is an extremely fast timeline. Even for an experienced climber, the average Denali expedition is around 17 to 21 days for a round trip, with most climbers making the summit on day 12 or 13. Matthias was determined to climb the mountain in April, which meant that he would be the first registered mountaineer of the season on the peak. He also planned to climb alone, but would be in radio contact and perform regular check-ins with his friend Andy Hutton. There would be nobody past the 14,000 meter mark, which is where the park ranger's highest located camp is. In case of an emergency, other climbers would have to first acclimatize to the altitude before even attempting to reach Matthias. On April 27th, Matthias set out from Cahiltna Glacier Base Camp at 7,200 meters. There was not a steep incline when traveling Cahiltna, but as with all glaciers, the main concern is hidden crevasses or deep openings in the snow. Some are so large you can't miss them, while others are small and ever-changing. One must be aware of where they are walking as cracks can open causing paths to change. Falling into one with nobody around to help meant certain death in most cases. Matthias was methodical through this section and slowly made progress, but overall managed it without incident. The wind was slightly blowing, which made the cold temperatures that much more unbearable. He had to be careful to not overexpose his skin to the outside air or he would face the risk of frostbite, which would surely mean the end of a summit bid. Matthias was following the West Buttress, which is the most popular route for Denali climbers. He made good progress in his climb and was on schedule for his planned route. Once past the Cahiltna Glacier, he did not face any real challenges until after Camp 2 at 11,200 feet. After this point, the incline starts to change and the climb becomes more taxing on the individual. However, with the climber of Matthias' skill, this section did not prove to be a challenge for him. By April 30th, Three days since he left base camp, he was well past Camp 4 and had climbed up to Denali Pass at 18,200 meters. Because of his radio check-ins with Andy, we know that Matthias was in good health and spirits at this point. His progress was very fast for a Denali summit, but that did not come without consequences. Matthias was feeling the effects of the weather and had become tired, but was still determined to reach the summit. May 1st came and went with no check-in from Matthias. May 2nd followed, still with no call. Andy was worried, but this certainly did not mean something bad had happened. Matthias was a seasoned climber, had plenty of supplies, and it was trusted that he knew how to handle himself in a dangerous situation. It was not until Wednesday, May 4th, when a call was made to park rangers after Matthias still failed to check in. A helicopter was sent out to perform an aerial search, but due to worsening weather, the flight had to be canceled. Before heading back, they managed to spot his makeshift tent at 14,000 meters, but did not see any signs of him. Clouds would prevent a search the next day, and instead a helicopter would be sent out on Friday morning, May 6th. That morning, Matthias was spotted in the fall zone of a steep traverse on Denali Pass. This section was a notoriously treacherous stretch and is the site of over 13 falls. Matthias showed no signs of life, and given the weather conditions, a rescue effort would not be attempted until after a park ranger was acclimatized to the high altitude. It was determined that Matthias' fall was an accident and proves that even seasoned climbers can succumb to the dangerous perils of mountaineering. Andy would go on to state, he was a lovely person, a wonderful partner, and an excellent mountaineer. Nature showed us how small we are, that's all. You always have to be aware of that, that we're just a little piece of the puzzle. That's a whole thing. It's very tragic.